there's only a couple ways to reduce the deficit. One, you get inflation under control and that reduces interest rates and that's gonna work in our favor. And I think that's happening. Now, if it's $1.6 trillion, then you know, if interest rates go below 4%, that saves a lot of money and probably the most you can save. They realized efficiency is an important element. In her last speech in Pittsburgh, she talked about how long it took. It only took one year to build the Empire State Building. That is crazy. There's too much friction in the government to be able to do building the right way. They're going to reduce friction. I've had conversations with them about AI as a service and being able to um, optimize integrating um, um artificial intelligence into all these processes so that they don't have to keep on hiring people. I don't think their mindset, again, I'm speaking for myself and my perspective of my conversations with them. I don't think their mindset is to just go out there and just cut a ton of people. But I do think the mindset is how can we implement technology to become more efficient so that we can provide more value to the citizens of this country at less cost. And I think that's important to them. I think um, you're going to see a lot of reduction I'm trying to think of the best way to say it. She knows that technology is the ultimate driver of success. And if she supports new technologies, and you heard that again in Pittsburgh, she wants, she mentioned blockchain, but more importantly, she mentioned AI and how AI is key to us being a dominant military, um, to having our, um, our military be dominant and to have our economy grow. Because the other way to get results isn't just a slash and burn like a Vivek wants to do, but to grow the economy and that there truly are ways to grow the economy without just more spending. But do you, yeah, do you support a, Elon Musk going in? Like if you're saying shed regulatory burdens, shed inefficiency, improve productivity, don't we need an Elon Musk style model that, you know, Trump has talked about with Elon? send someone in and let's go fix the inefficiency across all of the administrative efforts so run by things. the federal government. Well, first of all, when you mm -hmm. just cut, when you do a Vivek, Vivek type, just cut yep. the Department of Education, right? Yep. Whatever it is, we don't know what Elon would actually do. Well, I think that triggers a recession because then you got a lot of people unemployed, right? I yeah, mean, well, exactly the, yeah. right. And there's yeah. contracts. And so that means the United States of America is violating all these contracts with small businesses and medium-sized businesses. Um, and maybe Elon put Doge in the, the treasury, who knows? And that's how we make it all up. <laughs> but but you can't just crap, slash and burn, to your point, Dave. I mean, it just won't work. And so what you can do, though, is introduce technology. We have yet to have a president that fully understands technology. I'm not here to tell you that Kamala Harris is a geek. She's not. But she understands the impact and she has a lot of people who truly are geeks around there around her and she truly believes that implementing technology is a way to improve efficiency but the whole idea is you can't take the libertarian approach that's ideologic you have to take a problem solving approach how do you look at any specific problem we're trying to solve how can you apply technology to that i think you will get that from the harris administration as opposed mark, to you, donald just talking about the ai and how much energy it consumes mark you you said of all the rules if there's a harris administration you said you want to run the sec Why? I, was I, was, I was just trolling oh, was gary bullshit. gansler yeah oh, i was okay. just trolling gary gansler because it's fun to do yeah. Okay. Okay. So, so do you uh, think, just, do you, well, and particularly wise, Gensler has he done a particularly bad job? Are you just trolling? <laughs> are you just trolling? Are you just trolling David Sachs just, when yeah, you say you're just trolling me so, now, yeah. right? Well, I, I can't well, keep up with the trolling. And I think no, no, I need I to ask if control the trolling. Area where I agree with Mark. Nested I, I, trolling. Nested trolling. No, so yeah. Mark, Nested, you, you are actually so Mark, Mark, Mark is actually supporting Trump. He's just trolling Sachs and coming on the show. He's been going no, on for weeks. I know he's not supporting Trump, but but I tell you one one Republican that as I understand that you are supporting is John Deaton, who yep. is running against Elizabeth Warren in the yep. Massachusetts Senate race. Yep. So uh, I'm curious about this, because I think this is an area we could agree on. You're yeah, not a fan sure. of Elizabeth I mean, I like, Warren I didn't, at all. I didn't know that. That's pretty, that's pretty interesting. Yeah. I mean, I'm not a fan of Elizabeth Warren's. I've talked to her about crypto. I mean, I understand her position. Her basic position is, you know, bad nation states use crypto to fund their operations, the bad stuff. And she just wants to throw the baby out with the bathwater as opposed to using, you know, like I proposed a, a, a blacklist from OFAC that can be implemented in all kinds of shit. I need to get into the details, right? But it just, it wasn't going to happen. And so when John, not just being pro crypto, but, you know, his background, his character, I thought really was a positive. And so even before he got through his hat and his ring, I was talking to him, supporting him, giving him feedback and helping him. So again, I'm not a Democrat. 
I have no problem, and I think John Deaton will be better for the country, better for the citizens of Massachusetts than Elizabeth Warren would be. What would be common sense crypto regulation? Obviously, you don't want people bilking people out of their yeah, money. Of yeah, of course. So what would be a way to balance accredited investors versus the populist, non-sophisticated investors, if that's even a thing? So I've got a company and, and called- people running amok, you know? Right. So I've got a company called Lazy.com. And like, if you go to lazy.com slash mcuban, you'll see all my NFTs. And all it is, is a, is a way to display your NFTs. It hardly makes any money, but I wanted to see if we could release a token. So first thing I did was I had one of our people call the SEC and say, hey, what steps do we have to take to release a token? They went through this whole rigmarole about getting securities lawyers and this and that. There's no way a company with $100,000 in revenue is going to be able to afford to do that. So then I said, okay, I'm going to go right to the sec.gov and see about Reg A and see if I could just fill out the forms myself and, you know, just see what. So you start filling in name, address, and then you get to the type of business. And the only category is other. And once you follow that other um, connection, there's just no way to put the um, round hole, the just there's no way to make it work. You can't you can't make it work. And I actually said that directly to Gary Gensler. And so to answer your question, you have to make it easy to follow the rules. And you can't. And in terms of everything being a security, Gensler says everything applies to Howie. Right? There's a Howie rule and everything. You know. But the reality is, there's also a, a rule that came after, a ruling that came after, um, called Reeves, Reeves versus Ernst and Young, that had to do with interest. And if you think about, if you guys ever shorted stocks or um, done stock loan where you can make some money off a of stock loan, a borrow, yeah, yeah. So, but you know, you can make a share, you can make one of your shares of stocks available to the borrower and get paid a vig, right? You might get ten or twelve percent. And so, doing that is the exact same thing as loaning out Bitcoin for somebody else to borrow. And there's no, they don't call that a security. So I asked, I asked Gary Gensler, if it's not a security to loan out. Um, a share of stock. And why is it, you know, a security to loan out a Bitcoin to somebody else? That didn't have an answer. And the point there is he has an approach that is regulation through litigation. He's going to sue you first, ask questions later, and hope that the result of that litigation becomes a rule that everybody else has to follow. I Would literally said, yeah. what's that? Well, I was going to say, wouldn't a more common sense approach here be to say, if we had an accreditation test, a sophisticated investor test, we've talked about it here on the program. Which you do, yeah. Which, yeah, and, which and there we, is. Well, there's but, not one for the populace to take like a driver's license where they could say, hey, I've taken this test. I understand well, diversity, there, there is, diversification, there, there is, et cetera. Yeah. If you're able to register with the Securities um, and Exchange Commission for your company for the release of your token, then depending on how many people you're trying to sell it to, you would only be able to do that with qualified mm -hmm. investors. Right. But what happens is... Gary Gensler is making it so difficult to register. And what he's what he should be doing is saying, here's the bright line regulations. If FTX wants to loan out all their Ethereum, you have to do what they did in Japan. You have to have 95% collateral and 95% of anything needs to be put in cold storage. If he had followed the same rules for crypto that Japan did, FTX would still be in business. Sam Bankman Free might still be in jail, but FTX, three euros capital, they, they'd still be in business because he did the wrong thing. Now, I've literally talked to Kamala Harris at lunch about this specific topic of litigate regulation through litigation. And as a lawyer, she got it immediately and she knows it's a problem. And they know, and she's even mentioned it in one of her speeches that that's something that they're going to deal with.